welcome to a country version of Big Brother's Little Brother's Cousin with the amazing Victor Ubua. So you got it right this time, <laughs> didn't you, huh? You got it right. Fi finally, I got a mention worthy of myself and the one and only Nick Bateman. Now, Victor, how are you finding the country? I'm scared shitless. I'm going to be honest. Nick's brought me out to the middle of nowhere. There's, 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 there's snake holes and... There's wolves. He's telling me there's, there's wolves that have escaped and they're running wild somewhere around there. There's a there's a guy who's got a, a, a lake with crocodiles or something like that. Crocodiles knocking around there. There's a guy called Professor Am Am Ambrosius or something like that who's a madman. You know, I'm going to be honest. This is why black people don't come to the countryside. Because bad things happen out here. People can get murdered and can, Crime Watch UK, I'm sure they've shot things out here. <laughs> this, if you don't see me again, ask Nick. <laughs> so, moving on from the lovely countryside and your shocked thing about the wolves and the snakes and the crocodiles in the lake over there. How about, what, what do you think about X Factor? X Factor. Uh, X Factor's alright, but I, I've noticed that a rather, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm terrified here, so I'm going to be professional. Right. There is a rather uncanny alliance formed between Simon Cowell and Cheryl, Cheryl Cole. It's not so much an alliance as in more of, you know, Simon Cowell just basically having his head up Cheryl's anus, basically. Do you know what I mean? It's just, all he does is go along with whatever she wants. There's Katie, um, what's her name? Wassel. Wassel. Whatever. Well, yeah. I didn't like her because I think she's pretentious, but... I think people should ease off her a little bit, let her enjoy her experience. It's only a singing competition after all. Yeah, she's crap, right? Yeah, she looks like something from Biker Mice from Mars. <laughs> but let her enjoy her experience. Cher Lloyd, come on. You know, let's be honest. I mean, I think Cheryl Collins takes some kind of injunction out against her because this girl is getting single white female on her there. And also, it's like she's like a clone. That's what I just said. Yeah, well, you, in a roundabout way, you just didn't use... The, the right. elocution with it. But not but a very good clone. What about Wagner? Va Wagner. 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 He stinks. Wagner. Anybody who's voting for Wagner, you'll be, you're, you're going straight to hell. All of you. You're going straight to hell in the fiery pit. You'll be ripped limb from limb forever and ever for eternity by Satan. No but, more voting for him. But, but also X Factor. It's, 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 it's a kind of a fix as well. Just like, separate to get me out of here. Yeah. That terrible Gillian McKee. She's a wimp. Yeah. If you go to the jungle, you know there are spiders, you know there are snakes, you know there are things that bite you. Kind of like the countryside, they should have brought her out here, to be honest. <laughs> She's in the key fat egg, I'm in the countryside, <laughs> get me out of here, do you know what I mean? <laughs> What's up with Gillian, though? I mean, I've been hearing about her, just, I mean, that lovely dog, I mean, you know, she's not a wimp. I've been hearing about her wimping out, crying, moaning, you should know that on this show, if you're a wimp, People will vote for you incessantly to do crap. And why have got Alison Hammond on the show? I mean, she's part of ITV Furniture. Why is she on it? Well, she is a unit, to be honest, isn't she? She is, isn't she? But she's a fairly talented girl, though. Yeah, she is. Credit where credit is due. She's funny. Yeah, she broke that table in BB2. That was very I mean, funny. That was very funny. That's what I love that. It was, yeah. But, but, I mean, why? Do you think you should be doing it, Nick? Can we just mention, isn't Nick looking very thuggish today? Do you know <laughs> what I mean? This is the effect I have on Nick. He looks like Knuckles right. McTavish, someone's, someone who's going to give someone a good kneecap if they haven't got their, okay. their rent money. Tell me how you order a pint of bitter in my local pub. Uh, can I have a jug of your finest ale? See? Brilliant! You see, I've taught, I've taken the city out of the man and put him in the country, and it's terrified of it all. Show them, <laughs> <laughs> Show them how I taught you how to knife somebody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's not going to save us from the wolves. Are there really, is there really wolves out yeah. there? Yeah. And the crocodiles in the lake. Our professor, my professor, Arab Adrasian in the house up there. But anyway, we're going to say goodbye and we'll catch up with you shortly. Goodbye. Get rid of Wagner. Today. No more Wagner. No. no.